Alright, so in this problem, I have n to the power of 4 is equal to n minus 2 to the power of 4. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting n minus 2 to the power of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I'll be left with n to the power of 4 minus n minus 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now, from here, I'm going to rewrite this as n to the power of 2 times 2 minus n minus 2 to the power of 2 times 2 is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So n to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to equal n to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And now I have this minus n minus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, I have n squared to the power of 2 minus n minus 2 squared to the power of 2. And we can think of a as n squared and b as n minus 2 squared. So this is going to equal n squared plus n minus 2 squared is equal to n squared minus n minus 2 squared. Sorry, this is actually n squared plus n minus 2 squared times n squared minus n minus 2 squared is equal to 0. So now, this gives me two equations. I get Well, actually, before that, I'm going to go ahead and expand both of these. So right here, I have n squared plus n minus 2 squared, which is the same thing as n minus 2 times n minus 2, times n squared minus n minus 2 squared, which is, again, n minus 2 times n minus 2. Now, n minus 2 times n minus 2, if I distribute the n, I get n squared minus 2n, and if I distribute the negative 2, negative 2 times n is negative 2n, and negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And the same thing over here, n squared minus 2n minus 2n plus 4. And this is the same thing as 2n squared minus 4n plus 4 times n squared and n squared cancel out, so negative 2n minus 2n plus 4, which is equal to 2n squared minus 4n plus 4 times negative 4n plus 4 is equal to 0. So this means that I have two equations. I have 2n squared minus 4n plus 4 is equal to 0, and I have negative 4n plus 4 is equal to 0. So for negative 4n plus 4 equals 0, this is an easy equation to solve. All I have to do is add 4n on both sides, so I get 4n is equal to 4. And if I divide both sides by 4, I get n is equal to 1. Now for 2n squared minus 4n plus 4, if I factor out 2, I get 2 times n squared minus 2n plus 2 is equal to 0. And if I divide both sides by 2, I get n squared minus 2n plus 2 is equal to 0. And now from here, I'm going to use the quadratic formula to solve this. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is positive 2. So I have n is equal to negative of negative 2 
plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 2 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times 2, which is 8, over 2. And this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So I get n is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 i over 2. The square root of 4 is 2, so I get n is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i over 2. And if I divide both terms by 2, I get n is equal to 1 plus or minus i.